Okay, guys, now that you've seen some pictures, I'm going to do a little bit of explanation about the uh, control system itself. Um, to start with, the control system I built here is built on a piece of half-inch plywood, and I put a piece of sheet metal on top. That makes it very easy to assemble, disassemble, or if you're savvy enough, to change some things on the board if you want to. Okay, being a wind turbine installer, solar installer, electrician, um, I build a lot of custom systems, as you know. And this is something I came up with a few weeks ago uh, for another person. And this system seems to be working really well. I like it, and I wanted to put it out on the market. And, you know, if you have any ideas, uh, put something in the comments below. So I'm going to try to make this quick because I don't have much time on my video here. So here we go. This is our custom control board, as you may have seen in the other videos. It takes from 0 to 90 volt input. So your turbine um, DC positive and negative gets tied up to these terminals here. It needs a 12 volt constant DC to work. And this is your external relay hookup. Over here you have a normally open or normally closed setting switch. And over here you have three dip switches, which are uh, time delays. First one set for maybe five seconds. Second one can be set for maybe three. And the third one can be set for maybe two. And what that does is I'll show you. I'll turn it on. Now I'm going to shut it off. This is a uh, number one delay. And you can see the green light when it's activated. Okay, and it shut off. And if you heard the click, you can notice how quiet the uh, relay is. Over here on the relay, this is a 100 amp relay. A 12 volt coil. And if you notice the lugs I'm using, I'm using 60 amp lugs rated for copper or aluminum. And I don't believe you need a 440 amp relay to dump power. I don't think that anybody out there in the common world has 440 amps to dump. If you do, you're wasting a lot of power. That's why I think it's ridiculous to buy something like that. Um, even this system here, I'm only going to rate it at 60 amps. That'll keep it under um, the rating of the relay. It'll keep the arcing down, and it should last a long time. All right. Um, the one thing about this board I want to get back to real quick is uh, how you adjust this board is you put your meter in these two red leads here, and it's one-tenth of a scale. So 5.1 is actually 51 volts, and you adjust it with this little screw over here. You turn the screw, you watch your meter readings, and, and you can set it for any, any point you want, 0 to 90 volts. So whatever system you have, you can dump it any, you can dump it 12.1, you can dump it 14.9, you can dump it 28.3, you can dump it 50.2, whatever you want to do. Okay, it, 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 the board is incredible. There's nothing else like it out on the market to, uh, to, to do stuff like this. So that's your relay. Over here, I have a 80 amp rectifier. And again, uh, there's number six logs on it. Let's slide this over a little bit for you, as you can see. There's number six logs on it, and all the wire here, the internal wiring is 60 amp, by the way. All right, so it makes it for real easy, good connections. And over here, we have a voltmeter. Now, the voltmeter just reads the turbine voltage. And back of the voltmeter is where your connection points are. So you would take out the screw there and the screw there, pull that cover plate off, and that's where all the connection points are. Now, this little brown cable running through here is just my 12-volt DC. That's what's turned, keeping the board running right now, okay? And that's something you you know you run from your battery bank up to the control system. Over here, this is our brake, believe it or not. Works perfect. Shorts out the DC side. Uh, you leave it open, and it's rated for DC. You'll see a lot of switches on the market uh, that look like this. Okay, they're not rated for DC. They're rated for AC. Hopefully that comes in focus. And they put this in for a dump load or a break, and it's not for a break. Unless you're dumping, unless you're breaking on the AC side of the turbine, this is not rated for DC. DC arcing is a lot worse than AC arcing. It, it, it's very brutal on components. So you got to make sure you use the right components. And make sure when you're buying something, it has the right components. Now, this system, if you notice, I'll pull back a little bit here. If you notice, it's not, there's stuff missing for wind turbine. There's bus bars missing, some other meters and stuff. The reason for that is this is strictly a dump load system or a DC switching system. Uh, if you want to switch to a grid tied inverter with this, you can too off your battery bank. This, uh, re this rectifier up here gets tied to your main rectifier. So you already have a rectifier in your system. It's already in there. What you do is you just jump from your three phase rectifier over to this one. Lead one, lead two, lead three. And this system is in parallel with your main system. And what that does is uh, a lot of the relays, uh, dump load systems, they steal from your battery, meaning that they take the battery voltage down. Okay, that's fine. 
But what happens is the battery gets charged and then the voltage goes down. Then you got to recharge it. Then it goes down. Then you got to recharge it. Well, what this does is it doesn't steal any power from your battery voltage. All right. Once your batteries are full, that they're full. This doesn't take the battery voltage down. What it does is it stops the turbine from charging the battery. So it's kind of like a solar charger. When the battery bank is full, the solar charger doesn't take power from your battery bank. It simply stops putting power in the battery bank, leaving you with a full battery bank. This does the same thing. This doesn't pull the power out of it. It matches it. So if your float voltage is at you know, 14.3 or 31.2, well, you dump at that voltage and it won't charge the batteries no more. So with the delay settings, you can do that. You can match up your perfect match. All right, maybe you want to set it for, you know, a few volts earlier to dump because it's delaying. So that might work out. You have to tweak it a little bit. However, it doesn't take any power from your bank. And what I'm trying to say is a lot of times at nighttime, it'll, you know, the battery bank will be drained down maybe um, instead of 12.6, it might be 12.4. And then the wind dies. Well, now you're stuck with 12.4 when it should be really 12.6 because that system drained the batteries. So, again, this doesn't do that. And it's very robust. Uh, there's a lot of um, stuff on here. It's mechanical. It's not a lot of electronics. This voltmeter over here goes from 4 volts to 100 volts. And it doesn't need power. You've seen it just shut off. and get a little bit of wind. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so it doesn't need DC power to work. Again, it's right up to 100 volts. Um, everything in here is pretty heavy duty. All right. So I wanted to show this to you guys. Um, let me know what you think, if you think it's something for the market or something you're interested in. Uh, I'm going to keep the cost down on this. I don't know what I'm going to do with pricing yet. Um, I'm thinking probably around $250 for it. It cost me um, you know, close to $200 to build it. Um, but it's got all the right components in it to last a long time. There's not a lot of um, electronics except for the board and maybe the uh, voltage meter. It's pretty much mechanical. And there's not a lot of BS about this. I'm not going to tell you that it dumps, you know, 100 amps because technically it's only 60 amp wire. And, you know, 440 amps, that wire is the size of your arm. So I don't know where they come up with that number. Um, but this is from somebody who works in the field. I see this stuff every day. I build it a lot. And um, I tried to come up with something for everybody that they can use. It's, it's not only cost effective, but actually really works and is rated for what it's supposed to be rated for. Okay. So... Um, this is the board. Thank you for watching. And uh, let me know uh, what you think about it or if there's anything you'd like to see added to the board that can make it more functional um, keeping the cost down as well. Okay? Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate it.